Hey everyone, so I'm back with a new video finally. Um, trying to get back on schedule with you guys and make more videos and stuff like that and just, you know, stay on track. But I do have a new wig that I cut, I dyed. I went through a process with this hair, you guys. I thought that I messed it up in the beginning, so I was holding off on the review. I was really scared that it wouldn't work out, but it ended up working. Um, I tried to do like a light pink type of look after I re-bleached the hair. Um, originally this was a 1B slash 27 color. 27 is more of like a darker blonde color. So I got the blue flash bleach from Sally's Beauty Supply. I put it on the hair and it was kind of damaged. So I wouldn't really recommend doing this, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, and I ended up using the Adore, I guess it's called Adore hair color in orange. I think it looks so cute with so many different types of looks. I cannot wait to wear this for summertime, honestly. Um, I didn't really do like the roots that well in my opinion, but it works for what I wanted and it looks good in pictures, so that's really all that I care about, honestly. Um, I think that it works. I think that the color looks really good. The color itself for me is really even and I'm so happy about that. Um, I didn't film my process. I basically just put in the color, mixed it in with conditioner and left it in for like 10 to 15 minutes and then it was okay. Like it was good to go. And it just like stayed even. Like there's no blonde patches in the hair right now, which I'm really happy and excited about. So that's really good. Yeah, this hair is from megalook.com. I just completely transformed the hair. I wanted something new and different for summertime and also something that was a little bit shorter. It was already a bob, but it was just a little bit longer for me and I just didn't want really anything on my neck for the summertime. I would personally use a hair kit on that that actually is for bleaching roots instead. For me, I just went in with that really rough, hard bleach and it didn't really... I feel like it kind of damaged the hair a little bit, but honestly, it still came out nice. I didn't really lose too much hair in the process. With all that the hair has been through, it's still extremely soft. It's very bouncy still. I didn't even straighten it. All I did was just bump the ends to make it look a little bit more done up. In general, Mega Looks hair is good for dyeing. Just make sure that you're very careful with hair that has already been bleached. Um, this hair came within just a few days, honestly, so I got it really, really fast. And yeah, I think it really well. I already showed you guys pretty much how I bleached this hair. Um, the way I fixed it was I just put another hair color over it and it ended up working out. Um, as far as the shedding went, um, I just went ahead and I washed the hair again today. I didn't have any shedding. The first time that I bleached it, I did have a bit of shedding, honestly, but that was my fault, of course. The hair alone is really good. Like, it is withstood. That's a word. It's withstood a lot <laughs> in the past um, a couple of weeks of me doing it. I did take a break after I bleached it the first time, and then I went in with a lot of conditioner and color and then added in the hair color after. Also, if you guys know any, like, person that I should cosplay with this wig, let me know because I have no idea who has this hair color or this hairstyle at that. Uh, I would love to know so that I could possibly make one for Halloween or something coming up soon or maybe sometime in September whenever I start doing those videos. Just let me know. And yeah, so there is combs in this wig all around it, a closure in the front actually, and then on the sides you have your wefts all the way to the back. There's not really lace in the back for you to kind of put the hair up, but if it's in a short bob like this, if you cut it into this bob then you won't really need to be putting the hair up anyway. I'm pretty sure I have this in the middle part the first time I got it and then I just cut in bangs afterwards. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I really have to say about this hair. I think that it's really nice. I didn't even have to sew in an elastic band for this hair because um, I got it in an average cap size and it fits me perfectly. So that's a good thing about it. It's very snug. It's not like too small or too big. It just fits just right so that's really good the link to this unit will be down below as well as well as all the other links that they have to the other hair and i will talk to you guys later bye